When it comes to making an investment decision, there are a number of factors to consider, one of which is the time value of money. Don't worry if you don't understand time value of money, for in fact, there is a link to a video about it in the description. Net present value is one of the techniques that can be used when making a choice between two or more investment. Okay, so this is a discounted cash flow technique that explicitly recognizes the time value of money. The idea here is to look at how much we make from the project in future and find what that is worth in the present time. And if it is worth more than our current investment, we take the project. In short, net present value is equals to present value minus initial investment. Under this method, a project is accepted if the net present value is positive and rejected if net present value is negative. So how does it work in practice? Assume a company intends to take project X, which costs $2,500 now, and is expected to generate year-end cash inflows of $900, $800, $700, $600, and $500 in year 1 through to 5. Let's say the opportunity cost of capital is 10%. What is the net present value of project X? Okay, first of all, remember, present value can be arrived at using a calculator or by using present value factor table. So this is how we'll calculate that. So we'll have the year, the cash flow, and a 10%. So year zero, our initial investment is 2,500. And year one, cash flow is 900, and the present value factor is 0 0.90, which you can get from the table, or you can simply calculate it using this formula, in which case we take the 900, multiply that by this one, and then that gives us 818.1. Or you could just multiply 900 by the present value factor and you'll still get the same thing. Year 2, the cash inflow is 800 and the present value factor all the way to year 5. So now we add this one and that will give us 2724.4. So net present value is equal to present value, which in this case is uh, 2725. We've just rounded that one off minus initial investment, which is 2,500. And the answer to that is $225. Project X's present value of cash inflow, that is 2,725, is greater than that of cash outflow, which was uh, 2,500. Therefore, it generates a positive NPV of 225. This project will add to the wealth of the owners, and therefore, it will be accepted. This is what you're saying. Assume the mentioned company has a total market value of say $10,000, including 2,500 that can be invested in Project X, right? So the value of the company's other assets must be 7,500. That is 10,000 minus 2,500. The company has to decide if they want to spend 2,500. If they do, the total market value of the company will be 7,500 plus PV of Project X. That is 7,500 plus 2,725, which will give us 10,255. This means an increase in value by 225, otherwise the market value will remain only at uh, 10,000 if Project X were to be rejected. So the acceptance rule is simple, okay? Accept project when the NPV is positive, reject project when the NPV is negative, and we may or may not accept if NPV is equals to 1. NPV has a number of advantages, such as number one, it recognizes the time value of money. The idea being cash received today is worth more than cash received tomorrow. Number two, it measures a project's true profitability since it uses cash flow occurring over entire life of the project in calculating its worth. And number three, the NPV method is always consistent with the objective of shareholders' value maximization. The challenge, however, are difficulty in cash flow estimation. In practice, it's difficult to obtain cash flow estimates due to uncertainty. And number two, it is almost difficult to measure the precise discount rate. So I hope you've understood the lesson. If you have any question, leave it in the comment section. And if you don't like something about the video, also let us know. Okay? Uh, feel free to share this video with your friends. And um, also remember to subscribe to our channel.